fine. Yeah. Hi. Rock Slavis hey, with Seminole Insurance, yeah, and nice this is guess. our restaurant yeah. insurance specialist, Joyce. Hey, Joyce, very nice to meet you. Mind if I shut this? Of course, of course. I want the riffraff coming in. Of course, I'm sorry about that. Do you mind if we take a seat? Mm -hmm. Seems you have. <laughs> <laughs> You're sorry about that. Okay. Here are both of our business cards. Uh, thank you. you. Still don't have them from last time, but if you have one for both of us, that would be awesome. Um, I do. Okay. Um, actually, these are my last two, so I'll have to. Uh, I'll get you some before you. Leave. That's okay. Okay. And just kind of going, recapping what we talked about last time, you seem to really have an interest in those floors and that bar. I do. And then they have French descent, correct? They do. They come from a long line of Frenchmen. Well, oddly yeah. enough, uh, we've worked with our fair share of restaurants, and we actually met uh, studying abroad in France, Paris, yeah. actually. And we got to, we got we we're grateful enough to tour some vineyards and everything, and those were that was one of them. We really liked the wines. We never saw any four hundred dollar bottles of wine over there, <laughs> nor could we afford them. <laughs> but we saw some on your wine list. What makes them so special? Um. Just the producer, yeah, the individual producer. And, and are they yeah. straight from France? Oh, yeah. and one of a kind. Um, you know, very small producer. So, so yeah. yeah, I understand that, and so that that brings me to all. You save me a lot of money. I'll let you sample them. <laughs> deal. Can we make that deal right now? Awesome. <laughs> and going to the chateau floors, we saw some of the Louis the Thirteenth floors actually, and they were so protected that we couldn't even step on them. And so I'm surprised that you actually had that in your restaurant itself. It's uh, it's very special. Yeah, uh -huh. and so <laughs> it should be <laughs> exactly. And in re recapping what we talked about last time, we talked about those floors that were so special to you. We also talked about some of the things that may have been a concern for you, such as the concept of the convention center. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of revenue generation there, correct? Potentially. Yes. Okay, and there is also a contract brewing, correct? It, there is. Okay, could you explain a little bit more about that? Well, uh, I'm in touch with the general manager of okay. the convention center and yep. to cater a certain number of their events every okay. year. And, and it would represent quite a lot of revenue increase for me if I can swing that. So, yeah. and, so and, we're, we're very close to signing that deal. Okay. And, and there was also something about uh, the 30 days clause for your lease. Is that still in, in, intact? Um, I do have a 30 day clause in my lease. Okay. For, yeah. And, and I'm. Um, I'm yeah. guessing that you wanted to continue that so that you don't lose your lease and so that you're not operating without revenue, correct? Does that make sense? I, I don't understand that. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you were to take another lease, if you were to possibly lose your uh, restaurant, per se, mm -hmm. God forbid that happened, mm -hmm. you'd have to find somewhere else to lease and that would be twice as expensive. You know? That's correct. And so we, we don't want that to happen, obviously. And a lot of the things that we've talked about are the comfort levels of how you are with your current policy, correct? And are you pretty comfortable about how that would replace the chateau floors and everything like that? I'm under the impression that it would. Okay, um, just replace? Yes. Okay, and would it be replaced for the same amount that you paid for them? That was the plan. That's, that's okay. what I asked my insurance agent to do. Yeah, and so a lot of policies do actually have like kind and quality. Okay. And so that basically says that they're going to replace it for something of like and the same kind, the same quality. So that would be like saying Starbucks would be the same as replacing it with Dunkin' Donuts. The same coffee, it's coffee, it's mm -hmm. like kind of quality. Okay. And I would say that that's not really an option. Replacement isn't just an option for your custom one of a kind Chateau Floor. Yeah, things like these that. are unique. Would you yes. agree with that? Yes. And so, kind of going on to that, I would like for this meeting to really pertain to finding those needs, get a little bit more in depth about the flooring, that those contracts that you have brewing, and also the liquor licensing and the wine that you really take pride in. Okay. And as well as just kind of seeing if there is a solution, if there's reasonable next steps to maybe partner and maybe have that glass of fine wine that you talked about earlier. I think it's worth Sound the okay? I think it's worth the try. <laughs> so Seminole Insurance right now is 5,000 people strong. It has 135 locations. Wow. And we serve over 400 restaurants in Florida alone. Just like you, uh, don't take it from me. We would like to represent the policyholders, not State Farm and stuff like that. But we actually have two testimonials here, one from Proof Brewing Company, oh. so just a Tallahassee local like yourself, as well as Applebee's, which we actually both close together. We really take pride in that. And this is a larger chain. Uh, obviously, everything's custom-built and custom-tailored, which she will get into a little bit better. 
Okay. Does that sound okay? Sure. Awesome. So, Joyce, take it away. Okay, I did want to get into some current concerns that I had that Brock told me from the previous meeting. Um, you, you currently have um, contents covered, and it's likely, like you said, based on um, like kind of quality. Uh, you want to kind of go more into agreed value. So, agreed value is where you and your insurance company agree on a value, and then you use that value so you know exactly how much you will receive back. So instead of getting a replacement of $20,000 worth of hardwood, uh, not hardwood, but um, laminate replacement, mm -hmm. you would actually be able to get the, the money to get the exact same floors put back in. Perhaps not from the same chateau, mm -hmm. but oh, but but from a similar a similar um, place. Or is that going to be a lot more money to do it that way? Um, it's not a lot more money. It's definitely an increase. But for what you're getting, this this protects your interest. Um, you've heard some car insurance companies say you don't want to get half of a car when you get your your car replaced. You don't want half of your floor because then you are going to be responsible for making the rest of that payment to replace your floors or having a less than exquisite restaurant like you do now. Agreed. Okay, so um, that would be, we want to do the agreed on coverage for the bar, the new bar, uh, the floors, the walls, and the front door. All of the custom things that you have mm -hmm. in your restaurant, we definitely want to do agreed on value because they're priceless, basically. Okay. So, um, and another question I had on catering. You, you're not doing catering currently, am I right? Correct. Okay, so if you did do catering, would you be planning on renting vehicles or owning the vehicles? Uh, probably owning them. Owning them. We're okay. leaning toward owning them. All right, so that makes a big difference because we have co commercial auto policies and then higher auto policies. Commercial covers um, any vehicles you own. Higher covers your employees' vehicles or your vehicles. Oh, okay. Or um, vehicles rented to you. I'm sorry. Um, and then another thing I wanted to inform you about was umbrella coverage. Uh, do you have that? I don't think so. Okay. So when you have um, a few different insurance coverages, you can have an umbrella policy that goes on top of them that covers any limits that are not covering your policy. So let's say you have a hundred thousand dollar limit and you have $200,000 worth of loss. Let's say liability, anything. So if your CGL only covers $100,000 in loss, you would then go up to your umbrella and it would pay the other okay. 100000 So, and, So would that not cover the that agreed, uh, um, that agreed value, agreed amount on the property? Or is agreed value would be um, coverage specifically for your contents. That's okay. just because they're so valuable. This umbrella is for all of your policies, so it covers all of them. And when, when any amount over what you are, I'm sorry, when uh, when you have um, amounts that go over the coverages, so we have limits, um, aggregate limits. Have mm -hmm. you heard of that term? Mm -hmm. So basically, the entire limit of the policy. If that's exhausted, the umbrella limit will then come on top of those limits. So you will be covered completely and nothing will come out of pocket. Okay. That's umbrella coverage. Is that expensive? Um, actually, it's not. You just have to have certain amounts of um, coverage for other areas. Okay. But it, we can get into that when we have the policy made out. All right. Um, I saw that you have um, storage that's on city property. Has your agent talked to you about that? Uh, you're talking about my cool, my walk-in cooler? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got, I think we've got coverage for that. Well, We're supposed to. If it's not on your property, we would need to have a contract with the city to have the city property covered as well. Because if it's not on your property, it won't be covered. Hmm. Um, I don't think we have any particular contract with the city. Okay, so we, we could definitely look into that if you could send me. Um, I mean, it's just right across the parking lot. It is. Yeah. In, in insurance, um, we have places covered mm -hmm. instead of so it's it's by the square foot square footage of your property oh okay, okay. yeah however we need to cover it i need to make sure i'm guessing <laughs> absolutely yeah. and that and that coverage would be for anything as far as fire lightning theft things like it. not theft from employees let me that's a common misconception theft from other people oh, okay so employees aren't covered there but um so i wanted to let you know that 
there are rates based on projected income, and then there are rates, rates based on square footage. Okay. Not to get too complicated, but I, I would really like to get you rated based on your square footage. Okay. This is because if you're rated based on your income and you project a wrong income, you could be audited, which means you will owe more or less than the amount. It sounds like you could make some money, but I think just to be safe, if you want to keep the same rating based on the square square mm -hmm. foot of your square footage of your um, property, that, that would be more effective. Well, what if I had a really bad year and and you know and I, if it was based on square footage, what I get, I wouldn't get any money back. No, you would not. But it would protect you in the case that you have a really great year. Okay. From having an extra expense at the end of the year, like you know when taxes come around and you have to pay on, it's like. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. Right. It's just so that your business will be able to expect okay. you know, what the cost is, what? and it'll be over a year, and that's what it is. You know there's no more. Okay, I'd like to see an option on that. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I could bring that up. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to um, talk to you about another very important coverage. If you do start depending on the new, was it uh, Civic Center? Yeah, the convention center. Convention center. Right. Right. The convention center. Mm -hmm. If if that does happen, if your property is dependent on that business's income, if that business goes out of business uh, or they have a loss where they can't bring in um, customers, mm -hmm. this coverage will actually um, pay for that. So. So give me an example. How, okay. How that might work. So um, I'm an FSU grad, as you know. If Florida State, um, if their football team has a game canceled, mm -hmm. that affects every business here in Tallahassee. So these business owners are allowed to recoup some of that money because they have coverage for, it's called dependent property contingent income coverage. So if that business has any problems, they will be able to have the loss of income covered. Okay. So Basically, we'll just take like a estimate of your usual yearly income, and then we'll we'll make an estimate on what the monthly is, and that's how we'll pay it out based on past experience. I'll trust you to work me. <laughs> take me through that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going a little too deep. Okay. I just want to make sure you're clear on okay. on everything. And so here is a map of of the coverages. And these are the coverages I've been talking to you, and then the overall it will cover all of these coverages. Oh, so I oh, wanted to. Make I did want to ask you about the workers' comp. We haven't talked about Absolutely. that a whole lot, and and right now, as I may have told you, I don't have any workers' comp coverage. Oh. But I've only had a couple of small claims um, for my employees, and I paid them out of pocket. Do you think that's something that is you know, necessarily something I should have? Or? In Florida, we're, we're, well, in the. In most states, workers' comp is uh, required, and it's, um, you can actually be sued if you do not have it. So, if you have over a certain amount of um, employees, I want to say it's over four non-construction employees, mm -hmm. then you have to have workers' uh, compensation. So, I would. So I could be in trouble by now. I would very okay. highly suggest. Make sure I get some of that. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So. Right now, I just wanted to work on what you are interested in. You said you already have um, commercial general liability, which is yes. the basic liability, um, and you do have the food contamination. I believe so. You believe so. So we'll put a question there. Uh, liquor liability? I do. You do. And have you increased the limits since your uh, wine selection has increased? I have not. Okay. And your agent hasn't talked to you about this? I don't talk to my agent. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just know that uh, Seminole Insurance, that's not how we run our business. Um, Good. Life insurance, do you have that? Yes. Okay, that's for um, important members so we can keep running the business even if something happens to an owner or a, a key member. Right. Um, so contents, we definitely want to work on that. And were you interested in the um, contents coverage based on Agreed value, like we were saying. Sure, I'd like yeah. to you okay. present that with, with an option on that. Sure. Okay, and then we have coverage equipment breakdown. Mm -hmm. That covers any um, of your rented equipment or any of your owned equipment too. Uh -huh. I see that you have two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of um, loaned equipment to you. Lease, That's right. Lease. Right. It's lease. Uh -huh. um, so that would that would definitely make sure you have peace of mind in that area. 
Yeah, I'm sure I'd like to see an option oh, on that as well. Perfect. Yeah. I'll, I'll include that. And loss of income, do you have that? I do, although that I've had a claim that wasn't paid, but, so I'm not sure what happened there. Um, do you explain that? Yeah, could you explain? Well, it was during the storm. I was out for 12 days. Okay. Um, I just didn't have any power. And they told me it wasn't covered because the loss occurred at another location, not my premises. Okay. And that kind of, shall we say, ticked me off. It would. There's a hundred thousand dollar claim overall because I had some spoilage too. Well, we can definitely adjust that policy to make sure we can see what all is covered, and we can get back to you. And is that see something it. I can cover? I want to make sure. I think I know the answer, but I just don't okay. want to give you the wrong answer. Okay. So um, just to continue. We do, if you get the, acquire the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, if you begin delivering, you would need that coverage as well, right? Um, For cars and yes, hired yeah, autos? Yes. Okay. And the umbrella policy to cover any limits that your other coverage, would that be something you're interested in? Yeah, something I'd like to see a price on for sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we can also set you up with some risk management techniques and that will lower the cost as well. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say that. I'll let Brox talk to you some more. Okay. Yeah, so, so we talked about a lot of stuff. I feel like we, we did like so much. Well, I understand. Yeah. So I'm here to <laughs> simplify a little bit, okay. if you would. So we talked about how loss of liability, you don't want to lose that hundred thousand dollars again. No. And did your policy cover you for any extent for that? No. No. And so based on what you want, basically is is contingent on price. So if you want to pay more, obviously you could pay up to where you would get it from minute one of lost power until that 12th day. Okay. Obviously, that would be a little bit more expensive, but you're getting what you pay for. As far as everything else goes, uh, you're interested really in the agreed price because everything is one of a kind. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing can be replaced. So Chateau's floors, probably you won't be able to see them again to get damaged or something upon those lines. Vintage wines, very limited uh, right. and take a lot of time. Sure. And so we'll, we'll try to get you on that agreed of price. So you're not getting the wholesale price that you pay for it, but you're getting that margin added on to that wholesale price that you would, it's just like you sold a bottle. Okay. Owning the vehicles for catering, we really want to hit on that, uh, the commercial and higher auto. That would really help you as far as whenever you're delivering. Uh, basically, it's like your business is mobile. You don't want anything to happen to that business and that van. So if anything were to happen to that van, you would be completely covered as far as that goes. Does that sound all right? Sure. And so as far as those three things, I mean, those, I feel like those are, the big priorities. Are there any other big priorities that you see that are gleaming for apparently workers, workers comp is. Workers comp, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, so workers comp, loss coverage, agreed price, and I mean definitely the catering contracts and things of, of that nature. Would would you add anything to that list? Obviously those aren't in order. No, between the two of you, I think you okay. covered everything I'm looking for. Awesome. And so is that something that we could move forward with and partner with? Well, you do have some competition. Yes. Um, I'm looking to replace my agent, and one of the ways is uh, I've actually been solicited online okay. to uh, submit some information yeah. and get a quote, from, you know, from an online insurance company. Okay. What do you think about that kind of thing? Is that something? That... I could think about that. Um, actually, well, this would be actually direct. It'd be cutting you people out. Yeah, you know, it, it says direct to to attract customers, mm -hmm. but these companies have shortcuts. So as you saw that your $100,000 loss when the storm was cut out, exclusions such as those are, are where these companies make their money. They insure for losses that um, perhaps are not likely. So so while the internet may seem um, fast and convenient, mm -hmm. it, it, doesn't, it doesn't cover what you need covered 90% of the time. Okay. We'll make sure you see all the same faces all the time. We'll yeah. be there for you like other companies aren't. Like the telephone 1-800 insurance, they won't be there for you every day. Same gleaming face like us. Right. Uh, so is this I'm not sure if that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> so is this something that you'd like to move forward with? We'll definitely get that quoted for what you want, what you don't want. Mm -hmm. is that sound, are you 100% in? I'd love to see a proposal. Okay, so can we go ahead and sign a contract for that? Um, there's probably not any need to sign a contract. Okay, so just look at handshake. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. I appreciate your business, and we'll definitely get that quote up to you. Okay. Uh, we'll, when can we say it? When, when am I not able we'll, to say it? I mean, two days, uh, 4 sure. p.m. Does that sound okay? Um, sure. We'll yeah. get everything quoted, get that price agreed upon. Four is kind of in between my dinner hour. Can we do it a little bit earlier? Can we do yeah, it? Yeah, we can do it at 11 a.m. or 7 a.m. Earlier. Let's do it at 8 o'clock. 
Eight o'clock a.m. Well, yeah, on Tuesday. All right, on Tuesday. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds great. Appreciate right. it. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks for all your effort. I appreciate Thank it. You.